Hello everyone. Uh, again, you're an instructor here for our uh, series uh, of video tutorial for BDC Ladder Logic Programming. This is the second time we meet. So first time we have to talking about uh, the uh, differences between the old fashioned conventional programming based on relay logic control and the, the BDC based control. And the main things we concluded is the BLC enables you to write a, a, the logic with the ability of uh, making a change based on software instead of changing the wires and changing the panels and the components of hardware. And also, it enables you to flexibly doing the maintenance and upgrading your uh, logic philosophy based on software instead of uh, the hardware. Today in this session, we're going to talk uh, directly about uh, our uh, uh, tutorial. Here, we're going to install the environment that we will use in our tutorials to go through topics one by one until we're mastering in a, as a, a, a professional person to programming a ladder logic using uh, a Siemens uh, BLCs and in this session we're going to show you mainly the uh, environment consists of uh, the software we use to program uh, controllers which is the TIA portal Actually, TIA portal is uh, uh, like uh, the total integration environment in which you can doing everything in one screen. You can program your BLC, you can configure, you can commission your BLC, you can configure all components of hardware, and also you can make uh, programming for the controller itself. You can design the screen for HMIs and you can uh, produce uh, a complete industrial system, automation system, based on this environment. We're gonna use in uh, this tutorial uh, version 15 of TIA, but actually now we, you can see up to version 17, but don't worry because what we're gonna show you here in this uh, tutorial series, it's same even if you go back like version 12 or 14, uh, 13 or go up to version 16 or 17 because it's very very similar uh, so let's getting started our tutorial today will show you the how to install the uh, the environment including the software and simulator and doing uh, a test for your environment so that you make sure it's ready for you to starting your programming uh, using uh, BLC ladder logic programming. So let's get getting started. So here, the first thing here, as you can see in uh, the screen, is the initial uh, uh, initial uh, installation. Uh, after you collecting all uh, files from the official website of Siemens for the uh, TIA Portal Step 7 uh, version 15, 15.1, and you just uh, click setup like uh, all other environment and then the packages and all files will be extracted as you can see in the uh, in the uh, in the screen and then after extraction ex extraction happen the 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 system will automatically call the uh, extracted folder to go into the installation so let, let's move here uh, we go in like uh, next, 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 like any other uh, software installation. I'm just showing you here uh, the component. Uh, you can select uh, or deselect any of this component, and then you accept the terms and condition, and you go next without any uh, problem. So the installation getting started, showing you all list of program, and then as you can see in the green bar on the left bottom, you can see the installation. Uh, going very very softly and 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 very easily uh, until the end and showing you on the right for sure uh, some announcement or advertisement uh, about the ability of the uh, software and what you can do 
with the uh, Tia portal uh, uh, for Siemens. Actually, I won't talk it uh, as a chance to tell you uh, Tia portal is amazing uh, because uh, Tia portal can show you uh, the way to make uh, programming for your controller, programming for your screen, programming for HMI, SCADA, so you can actually make a complete industrial automation system in one screen. So now uh, we, we, as you can see on the left, you can see the, the uh, brick residues and the configuration and the installation. Uh, all of this have been uh, done and, uh, and, and, and after this, it will be uh, showing you there is uh, uh, now it's ready and you can uh, restart your computer or you can uh, continue. The next step after after this, after installing the software for Tia Portal, you just uh, 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 notified by the update if you need to go with the, with the update or not. As I told you, we we have uh, uh, we have uh, the uh, another uh, package for the HMI. If uh, we're going to uh, make a screen for uh, our control system, we'll uh, will uh, install here the professional WinCC professional version 15, for, by, by which you can design your screen and connect with your controller. Next thing, after uh, we have installed this thing, we need to have a simulator, as I told you, to simulate our program. So actually, uh, here is the uh, BL, BLC uh, sim. Uh, for version 15.1 and the actually it is same thing like extracting the files and uh, after extraction done you can see the installation will be uh, going uh, one by one until uh, the, uh, the the file is ready to uh, to uh, extracting the file and then the wizard for uh, installation will be continue For, B, for S7 BLC SIM, same thing you can see in installation percentage. And as we have seen for the software, same thing here, it's just going next, next finish and uh, choosing your language, showing you the space will take in and uh, just accept this uh, uh, term and condition. And then a configuration now done and going to the installation and the installation resumed until the end so by now you you, you have uh, the two uh, system uh, for the uh, programming and simulation as well so we need to test our environment but once after we completing this thing so this is a uh, five minute uh, for completing this uh, simulation uh, BLC sim simulation installation uh, and let me uh, go into uh, doing a test for the environment now to make sure uh, our lab is ready for the uh, for the uh, uh, for the uh, next tutorial one by one. So we'll do, we'll do a, a small program to test uh, the software environment and also configuration and also the uh, simulation is working correctly. So now it's going to be finished. Yeah. So now it's done. So let's say, uh, say okay, finished, and go to back to our tutorial. So here, uh, after installation, uh, what we're going to do is to uh, calling the this is the, the installed one, which is the Tia Portal 15. So when we open this uh, Tia Portal 15. Very easy. You will see here the uh, the interface. As you can see on uh, the left, uh, the left one, you can see here to open existing project. Actually, I have installed this thing for you to showing you. I have using uh, the uh, recorded very video before for this uh, installation to go through this uh, installation and showing you the steps. But this one already contain my uh, old program so here i want to show you you can here open existing bro bro uh, uh, project so you can see listed all project here you can select any one of this project and just say uh, click open or you can go with create new project in this create new project you just uh, naming your project and uh, if you want to change the path uh, 
at which the, your uh, program will be saved or or doing something like this and then uh, here also you can migrate uh, one project from old version to new vo version and so on so mainly uh, here also you can see the installed the uh, software so we installed the together the uh, version 15 for the tia uh, and also we uh, installed the step uh, 7 professional uh, for uh, for this uh, for this uh, installation and also WinCC Professional for creating HMI screen. So all of this software listed here is a software you already in, uh, installed in your uh, system. Uh, on uh, the right, you can see here also check for updates, but let's go with a new project to test our project. So let's see, uh, this is our first project and go ahead creating and then now the project uh, is taken to be created by a, by the wizard so now the first question you will be asked about uh, this thing is uh, now the first program was open successfully so you can uh, either configuring a device or writing the BLC program or configuring uh, ob uh, objects or configuring HMI screen or open project view so if we go open project uh, view you will go to the project without adding any hardware but if you want to uh, and 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 there you can uh, adding the controller and the ios and cpus everything there or you can make everything here configuring your device so let's go uh, systematically uh, one by one so configuring the device here so by 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 you just saying configuring the device you will see here in the tab here you can show all device or adding a new device so if you say adding a new device so here you will see three main things controller showing all cpus you can use s7 1200 s7 1500 300 400 80 uh, to uh, 200 cpus and so on or uh, you can add HMI screen and this is the panels you can use like basic panel, comfort panel, mobile panel, HMI, uh, SI, SI plus or a BC system uh, for uh, this is advanced thing to have a BC system uh, uh, advanced uh, software uh, hardware for Siemens to, to make a BC based uh, control project so our concern here for BLC programming so let's choose like for example this one S7-1200 so this is a list of CPUs which is uh, categorized under 1200 CPUs so let's see we will use uh, the first one which is the 1211C ACDC uh, uh, relay so here actually uh, uh, you will you will see for each version uh, three uh, is a number of the CPU and you will see also uh, three uh, part of the software uh, the first part AC showing the supply of your uh, BLC uh, will be AC supplied like uh, taking the uh, 1200 or uh, I'm sorry taking the 110 or 120 or take the 220 or 224 uh, to 240 uh, based on uh, the electricity in your uh, country or uh, a DC as you can see in this type the first part is a DC meaning the supply uh, supplied the, the, com the controller with a DC supply so for this one you need the external adapter to uh, supply you with the 24 volts DC the second part is uh, is uh, a DC the, this is showing the uh, the the output uh, inside the BLC will be DC, so you can see for sure all BLCs will be DC DC. So inside it will be DC, and the last thing is the output is the based on relays output or based in transistor. So uh, let's say this one will use. And uh, one thing I want to show you here, uh, you will see here the version of the controller itself, like version. Uh, 2 version 2.1 version 2.2 and so on so what need uh, to, to, to use here is version 4 because if you use uh, version uh, less than version 4 the simulator will not work because the simulator has been designed 
to working with uh, the latest version, which is uh, version four. So, so I just used this one, select this one, and and just select the add. Then my project contains this one. And uh, for uh, configuring the devices, we only because we going to just to test the environment here. So we just uh, choosing this hardware, but uh, uh, for sure without question we can uh, uh, adding another hardware. Uh, not only the CPU. So here you can see here in the uh, uh, left uh, left tree here on the left. You can see here this is the your BLC and this is the device configuration. You can see in the middle this is the, your BLC uh, and you can see here all configuration. So when you see here the Ethernet board, you can see the IP address and the everything. All this is the IOS related to the communication. And this is the 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 BLC itself showing uh, the data about your BLC. And here you can see uh, this box or this controller contain digital input uh, like like this. You can see digital inputs and digital outputs. And 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 you can see also the addresses. You can see here the digital input. You have like uh, six six inputs. One two three four five six. And you have four output. You can have also for output one, two, three, four output. So this is built in within your CPU, but you can for sure adding uh, additional card, uh, uh, input output card uh, to your rack. So uh, now uh, this is uh, the your uh, your uh, hardware. And also going to the program block, you can see here in the program block. This this is our main block in which you can writing code. So here, let's make a very simple, uh, very, very simple uh, program to make sure the environment is working correctly. So this one is for sure we're doing a larger project. So this is one input in the first card and the first uh, point. Okay. And this is the first output in the first card, Q00. Just to make sure our uh, our environment is working. So how we call one 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 question? Uh, very very important. So now we installed this uh, package to making a programming, and also we installed a simulation. So how we call this simulation? So two ways to call uh, the simulator software. Either you just uh, you just uh, say BLC sim. So this one and just click like this. So you will find the box here. So this box, like your controller. Now you are in the lab and have your software here and you have your controller here, like you have the hardware. Another way guys to uh, calling this one is by just adding, uh, clicking this icon, which is start simulation uh, simulator. So this one will calling the software and you have your box here now. So now you can see it is, uh, uh, it is connected uh, automatically with the software you have uh, done with the program and asking you, shall I uh, load the program? You, yes, sure, load the program. Uh, and the action after loading, I will tell him start and finish. And this way you have, you can see the green light on the uh, uh, your controller, like your hardware now is uh, in running mode. So we need to simulate this program. So we just uh, click here this, this one to enter the online mode to showing everything here and there. So you can see at the start, you can see the input is not enabled. So the output is, is not uh, energized. So here, if you click right click and just modify this one to high logic, you will see here what happened if we doing like this. So if we uh, like, Forcing this one to be high. So it's supposed to go high also. Okay. So now we are online, yes, but and and running, and we are waiting for this uh, one to be uh, uh, to be uh, energized because we already. Uh, energize this uh, this one so so now this one uh, we trying to make zero or make one for forcing the output and see what's going on 
So let's make this one on and off. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So if we make this one to yes. So I don't know, it's supposed to. Yeah. Yeah, might be it's not uh, connected yet. So let's restart the process of the simulation. Yeah, that happened many times. That happened. So we can just uh, upload my program. So when he, it asks you about the upload, now he asks you because you didn't uh, open the simula simulator itself. So what I need to do is let me show you. That's a good chance to show you because we need to start the simulator again. BLC sim. Okay, and once we open this one and start searching, because ah, it's not so we just make like this and make okay. So this one is uh, it's not our our one, so that is. Yeah, to select our PLC system. Okay, but we need to open the simulator itself. So, PLC system. And once we open it, this one, it will be start searching. Okay. You know what? Uh, by by doing such thing, it's very good for you to uh, uh, practice with me because this thing might be uh, occurred with you. So this is a good chance actually to make such uh, such such thing. Yeah. So let me close everything and save the project. Save it and close everything. And reopen it again, which is my first problem. Yeah, okay. Okay. So now I'm going to open my software. And now let's upload. Because now I have it. So see, now it's working. Because I opened everything. And now the controller here. This is my program again. So I need to run my program from here or from here. So let's make it from here. And notice what's happening here for simulator. So you will see it is blinking and then uh, it steadily become green. And then going to uh, simulation mode, to show me input output. And I need to make this one modified to one. So this one now. Uh, yes, so this one now showing you the status of the input and output. You can see here also in the table, the DC tags. Here, all this uh, will go in, uh, in detail with you, but I just uh, try to make sure uh, uh, what, what happened to this, uh, this thing. So, I just want to make sure you see me now. Okay. So, this guy is uh, make this one like uh, yes. So, let's open this one. Uh, let's uh, continue for this simulation. Like now, I'm in running mode. I just maximize the uh, the program itself, and now I'm adding the project, like new project. Okay, and this project will be connected with the open project, which is the first uh, one. Yeah, so this one here. Let's minimize this one to to show you everything. So. And also, we 
will be uh, loading so as you can see everything now is loading the program here so now we have in one hand in one side the program and in one side now it's loading the the program so the program is loaded here and there so here you can see here so this is the output my output is tag one i have two tag one for input and one for output like this okay and let's see the two screen together so one screen here showing the the program and one screen here showing the uh the on the right showing the simulation and the on the left showing the uh, program tools so here if you enable this one to be uh, like this if, if this one become uh, change it okay so i can uh, changing this one okay from zero to uh, to true so what happened on the left it is now energized the output but if i make it like false as you can see to be let false and true so you can simulate your software here so now our target uh, completed by showing you how to install the software how to install simulator and how testing the environment everything is good so my friends next time i will go directly using our simulator and our software to take it session by session until we mastering a BLC programming, ladder programming. So please, until that moment, you just uh, install the software and just uh, you might send me uh, some uh, uh, questions if you have questions, uh, telling me if you have any problem to install this software to your machine. Because when you have this software, uh, you can uh, listen to uh, watching the videos and applying yourself in your environment. Uh, one by one until you uh, take the all benefits of this uh, video tutorial thank you guys and i hope you uh, good watching and i hope you uh, uh, next time will be ready for our new tutorial so thank you so much and uh, be there next time thank you very much